What's going on? Welcome back. We have another stipulation draft right now from uh, Dr. Funkberger, MD. Not sure if he's an actual doctor or not. I cannot make any claims in that regard. The stipulation is that we're going to play Super Friends. Unless we get a pack one, pick one tinker, which we did not. We take Super Friends, but not so much as to compromise the quality of the deck. Like, we don't have to take an Elspeth if we're going to Grixis uh, over a better, uh, like a card for our deck, right? So... Um, we're not compromising the quality, and as always, there's an exception for power. There is a Mox Emerald in this pack. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's an Emerald. <laughs> Want to say thanks for the streams and vids during Cubes, cubes Miss? <laughs> Roland, thank you so much for uh, for appreciating it. I uh, appreciate that. I'm going to request a simulation where you can not pick power. Well, that's rude, and uh, I, I don't accept. I want to take Mox Emerald. I think Treachery is actually very, very strong as well, but it's a Mox. It increases the... Uh, the power of our entire Deku. Uh, I like Scarab God a lot. Scarab God's kind of like a Planeswalker, right? Ghost of the Sun 909. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Splurge went open. Touche, <laughs> mm, touche. I think Scarab God is... A, this is basically a super friend, right? Balance doesn't affect Planeswalkers. That's interesting. My concern with drafting balance is that we have a Mox Emerald and a balance and we're basically just drafting green-white again. And I'm going to probably avoid that. But fixing could also be very important. I agree with that. I'm going to take Scarab God. I think I don't, I don't want to go with this fixing because I don't think we're going to be in those colors yet. Uh, Alright, so we got some super friends here. And we just took a Scarab God, so I feel comfortable taking this Jace. I'm okay with that. Probably better than Gideon by a large margin. I wish it was Jace the Mind Sculptor, but uh, it is not. Also, if Watery Grave, Orzhov, Signet, Tundra, or Verdant Catacombs comes back, I'll be thrilled. And if that doesn't happen, we'll just take the Gideon. <laughs> or the Cryptic Command. This, this pack is actually very good. In honor of the brew, can I post a Sweet Cereal Salt Attack Catalog? You may definitely do that. I appreciate you asking. Thanks so much, man. No planeswalker. Where are my planeswalkers at? Let's take a look at this bad boy. Let's see what Roland T. Flak Pfizer drafted earlier. I'll show it for the class. Oh, Ancestral Vision and Ancestral Recall. That's pretty gassy. Wow, this is... What is this? Five Signets? Good lord, man. Dissenters Deliverance in the main deck. Regrowth in the main deck. Treachery. Ugin. Vraska. This deck actually looks pretty sweet. This is a lot of mana sources, though. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. But you do have these two. That's a sweet deck. I like seeing decks like that because I'm like, oh, cool. That actually makes me uh, think of... It makes me it makes me think that other archetypes in this format can actually survive. Um, Do we just want Bells Unlock here? We took Bells and Lock. I think that's actually good. I, I haven't played Bells and Lock in the cube yet, but I think it's actually fine. Also, if we can get it in the graveyard, we can Scarab God. Ew, you're skinny. Do you actually own Axolotls? No, that's actually pretty funny. Uh, that's actually hilarious. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Hissing Quagmire here. You think it's Tutor over Hissing Quagmire? I want some fixing, guys. I guess we're not green, though. All right, let's take Vampiric Tutor. I, I was also, I think Sower of Temptation is also pretty good. He is more of a super fiend. You're right. These are super fiends, and this is super. This is a super friend. I can get behind that. I think it is Vampiric Tutor. It's just very, very strong. Chandra. All right. Okay. Oh, Grim Monolith, though. That Grim Monolith. Is it? Are they saltwater or freshwater? Are they freshwater? Are we taking... I mean, we have to take Chandra because of the stip, but I don't know if this goes into the camp of don't ruin the deck for a good, a really good card. So I'm going to I'm gonna highlight the Chandra, but Dr. Funkberger can let us know if your monolith is more reasonable. They're freshwater? Wow, I had no idea. They look like saltwater buddies. All right, we're going Chandra. Oh, we're going Chandra. 
I feel like that's more honorable to the stip, so we're gonna go Chandra. Yo, take your oh man, no way! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stip it up. Stip it up, son. I'm gonna take this a botanical sanctum. I think we're not white. We can probably avoid white. You can cut Axolotl's limbs off, and it will completely regenerate no matter where they cut it. Okay, let's probably not do that though. Ghost of the Sun, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. Probably don't cut their limbs off because that seems bad. Um, yeah, we're just taking the Sanctum. We don't have any green cards, though. Like, this could just be a colorless card, right? Oh, actually, Joyra does... Joyra's great with Super Friends, and we can just be Grixis. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened. She just gets, she just gets this way sometimes. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Uh, Xenagos is a Super Friend. We're going to have to prioritize some mana fixing after this pack. Some some pretty pretty heavy mana fixing. Um, I'm going to take this Blooming Marsh because we want it. Stomping Ground, that's great for us. That's good times. All right. Gideon, uh, I'm going to take you. Oh, actually, I'm going to take Brain Maggot for this pack. We're not going to be white. And Brain Maggot will probably make the cut, I think. Maybe. Charlotte's Agent came back. I'm actually okay with that. Hissing Quagmire. So all of our lands are green so far, which is interesting. I'll take the Wear Tear. It does destroy an artifact, even if we can't hit the other half. Time, time Spiral Reeling is, is pretty ridiculous, actually. All right, so we're going to put all these in the sideboard. And then we're probably going to open Ancestral Recall, I think. So that's pretty good. But it's a wheel effect. It's meant to... Would you do a Gids and Geds where you have to draft all Gideons, Ravages, War, and Armageddon? Um, my only problem with stipulations like that is that you sometimes don't get any of them. And then it's just really awkward. What was my opinion on coffee? I'm not a big coffee drinker. I prefer cold beverages. And uh, coffee is a little too acidic and, and bitter for me. I like tea. I like cold tea. Johnny mentioned Garrick, Thran Dynamo, lots of lands, Toxic Deluge, Mr. Tasty gifting subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Cold chocolate iced tea, you freak. Wow, these are these are positive, supportive comments from my my friends. I like Moldrifter here. Take the Garrick. Is Garrick good for our deck? I think we have to, but we really want. You ever tried a cold corn dog? No, that sounds disgusting. I don't want you to show and tell. Why would we ever take show and tell? We don't even have any creatures. We have like two creatures in our deck. Okay, five, but they're not they're not that good. Yeah, the new chromium looks sweet. Muldrifter is the best planeswalker. I'm gonna take the Garrick though, because I think we need. I we need more. I need. Oh, Jace is a planeswalker. Jace is a really good planeswalker. I think we just take the Jace here. Yeah, I like the Jace here. We're heavy blue. Control Magic is the best planeswalker, but Nicobolus is the better, better planeswalker than that. So. I think we just take this Nicol Bolas. Why do we need spells with Baby Jace? I mean, it's just a loot effect that helps us hit lands. But do you guys consider... Do you guys, th do you guys really think that if you don't have spells, this Jace isn't good? The best part of this Jace is looting with him, not the, not the, not the copying part. If you're not looting, you're not 
you're not doing the right thing. There's times you actually don't want to even flip Jace. Um, wow. Fast spawn seems really good. We're not going to take Fraley's because it's double green. I don't think we're... Ha I think green is our splash. Um, all right, Misty seems great. We don't have any... We can get a stomping ground with it. Gruel Signet seems great. Fast spawn could just be really, really good. We might actually cut the Chandra and be splashing the red. I actually like that better. I actually think Fastbound is more broken than the Misty. Creeping Tarpet's good. Liliana's pretty good. Liliana's worse, though, because we don't actually have good creatures in our deck. I think it's actually Creeping Tarpet. Not enough draw to make fast super great. I mean, even if we just draw, like, even if we have, like, two extra lands in hand, like, being able to ramp, like, one or two cards is pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take the tar pit here because I think it's, it's, we're not heavy green yet. And we really want to prioritize fixing. Sylvan Caryat is pretty great. No Planeswalkers in this pack. I would like Liliana a lot better if we had more creatures in our deck to, uh... Actually, Damnation seems great in this deck, doesn't it? Play a bunch of dudes, damnation. So, yeah, I think we're soul tie splashing red. Put you over here for now. Yeah, we'll take the damnation. Trigon Predator, rekindling Phoenix. That's pretty good. I don't hate a Dragon Lord Atarka. Rekindling Phoenix is a double red, though, so we're probably not picking that. I think Dragon Predator is probably great here. Go for the Throat, probably also pretty good. Actually, it might be Go for the Throat. Yeah, let's Go for the Throat. I was actually hoping this Lava Claw Reaches came back, and here we are. So that's actually great. I like this Nissa a lot, especially because we're green. We have a stomping ground, so it's not terrible. I don't know how many planes we're going to be playing, but it's still it's still a Nissa. I would take the Mox Diamond, but it's going to require us to play a lot. Nah, Leovold came back. That's pretty fantastic. Uh, I don't think we want Mox Diamond just because we have Fast Bond. So they're basically the same thing. You basically get rid of a land to put a land into play. You discard a land to put a land into play. Fraley's came back as well. Wow. All right. I'm just going to take the Umbero rights because it's very strong. Song of the Dry. All right. This thing is actually pretty sweet. And we get to... Wow. We could have had like the most amazing unintentional tendrils deck ever. I got real excited because I saw this and then I realized it was just the junk one. <laughs> I think it's actually Volcanic Island here. But we're splashing the... We're just splashing red. We really want some ramp here. I, I think Everflowing Chalice is good, but I don't think it's what we want. I can see us playing 18 lands just to make sure we have like a bunch of fast bond lands. I think it is Volcanic Island. And then with we have Lava Claw Reaches Stomping and Volcanic for our three red cards, which seems fine. What? To get past a Mox Ruby? I'd love this Bayou, but I think one of these might come back, and we also have Worm Coil and Liliana if they don't. I think something will come back. Wow, a double Mox deck? Fantastic. That's really sweet. I'm really thrilled with that. Breeding Pool or Overgrown Tomb? Probably Breeding Pool. We don't have that many blue lands, but we do have a lot of black lands. We have Creeping Tar Pit, Lava Claw Reaches, Hissing Quagmire, and Blooming Marsh. We can also take Demonic Tutor, but we already have Vampiric Tutor, so I think we just want Fixing at this point. Celestia Signet's good, but I'm more concerned with being able to just have our colors. Especially because we have two moxes already, so I'm not I, I don't care about the signet with the double mox. And I do want on color land here. Vraska. 
I think we've already seen the benefit of, like, Vraska was real strong. Killing an enchantment in this cube, an artifact, or a creature is very strong. I don't actually think Cast Down is that strong. I'm going to take the Vraska here. This seems great. Um, Is it Windswept Heath? What does Windswept Heath get? Stomping Ground, Breeding Pool, and a Forest? That's actually pretty good. I don't think it's Sword because we only have eight creatures. Actually, Oath of Nessa seems fantastic. Good call, good call. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, that was a that was a good pickup. I kind of like painful truth here. Painful truth is real good with fast bond, I think. Like three cards for three mana is actually very very good. I don't want batter skull because we already have a lot of we have a high top end right now. Um, I think it's actually painful truths. Manglehorn is actually very good. I'm gonna take the truths though because I think it's that's a main deck card and like Manglehorn's also main deckable, but I think the ability is a little more repeatable. Is it Signet's actually good or Search for Tomorrow? I think we're much heavier green at this point, which is nice. Yeah, look at this green. This is great. Also green, 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 green. It's definitely not clamp in this deck. We have eight creatures here. It's either search or signet. I think Search is better than Signet here. Raging Ravine. Death Rite Shaman. We don't have any fetch lands, so I don't think it's Death Rite Shaman. It could just be Raging Ravine, but we also have Hissing Quagmire, Lava Claw Reaches, Creeping Tar Pit, and, like, to a lesser extent, Breeding Pool, which are all going to come into play tapped. I don't think I want that many tap lands. I might just want Thrun. I took the death right in case the windswept heath wheels. And it's also not terrible if they put lands into their graveyard, so. Everflowing Chalice is not terrible here. Wow, the bayou came back. That's such gas. That is such gas. Yeah, I'll take a bayou. And Overgrown Tomb came back as well. Okay, so what were we saying about fixing Nightmare? That's pretty cool. Cast down. That's actually playable. I'll probably play that over like Everflowing Chalice. Fatal Push. All right. Also very good. And Dark Ritual. That's a last pick Dark Ritual. Okay. Wow. Wow. That was great. This is a good this is a good amount of lands. Oh man. Alright, so you can you're gonna be here. This deck turned out great. Every card is feels like a bomb. I think our mana's gonna be our hardest issue, but it's actually we have nine fixing lands and two moxes. Like it's pretty good. I like chalice just because we can go land mox, turn one chalice, and that, that means we can turn turn to any of these most likely. Is four mana Jace worth the two blue? I don't know. That's a good question. What do we have? One, two, three. We have three blue fixing. Probably not. We have one, two, three, four red fixing. And I say fixing, even though it's one of the mocks. We do have Oath of Nyssa, though. And we do have Sylvan Carry added. Two cuts. Also, most of these cards trigger Joyer, which is pretty sweet. I think we can cut Brain Maggot. I think that's a fine cut. I 
think we might be able to cut Fatal Push too. I think it's pretty narrow. We can actually board this guy in. And now we can just put all of this in here. Oh, uh, I don't think Fast Bonds are on. We still have 15 lands. Um, redundant, maybe. I Maybe. Yeah, actually, I like cutting Fast Bond. I think that's fine. Uh, not really. No, we have plenty of lands to play Joyra. I don't think that's an issue at all. All right, so let's sort by color. This is going to be a mess. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Let's add basics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue. We have how many blue sources? We have one, two, three. Four, five, six. We'll add six blue, because we also have Sylvan Carry added in search for Mar to get them. Uh green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can do it with one, just so we can search for it if we need it. Uh no Shrondor because we're splashing the red. We it's it's double red. Uh, black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can probably go to seven. I don't think we actually have one double black card and it's Bells and Lock. I think it's fine to go to seven black sources. And we have one, two, three, four red sources. And we still want one red just because we do have Search for Tomorrow. Yeah, this deck looks great. I am excited about it. Like, I think we're already pushing it with Jace, but we have Oath of Nyssa, and we're also heavier blue than red. So. Nicol Bolas is black, black. Yeah, but if we're if we're already accounting for, for Demon Lord Bells and Lock at six mana, uh, it's, we've already accounted for Nicol Bolas at eight mana, so. We're assuming that when we hit six or eight mana, we will already have uh, double black. This hand seems good because we can probably get everything we, like we can probably cast everything we get here. All right, let's do it. Yeah, it's definitely Mox Jet. Not, not close. It's not a double blue card, and it's also not... I don't think Misha's Workshop's actually that good in the cube unless you get a really good deck. You're going to counter my Sylvan Carry added? No, all right. Resolves. Resolvos. Storm count too. It's interesting that it says that. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. All right, Needle Spire seems fine. What are we getting here? We have we have the all the red we need. We technically have all the blue we need. Um, but I think we still want a second blue anyway because we do have uh, Jason. If someone carry it, it dies for some reason. Or we can get a second black source. I'll just get the swamp here. Okay, well, magic's hard. All right, we got all the man in the world. We can nickel bolus next turn if we draw it. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Nickel bolus one time off the tippity top and let them tap out for something stupid. All 
That's rude. No more Nicol Bolas off the top. Where are my super friends at? I remember, I remember we had super friends in the deck. I just don't know where they went. It's not the same draft. It's a league. Just because this is this is this this person probably wasn't even in our draft. Seems good. Uh, no, we we brought fatal push back in because we took out fast bond. Two, three, four, five. Let's play Anissa. Just a good old fashioned counter spell. You got it. I mean, if any if any planeswalkers are getting countered, actually, I think Nissa is one of the weaker ones at this juncture, so I'm okay with that. Oh, well, that's a thing. I'm actually not going to kill it right now because if they have spell pierce or mana leak, we're not going to not our mana or mana tithe any of the cards that that are mana based. Um, I really don't want to get blown out by it, so I'm just going to wait till this turn and we're going to casually murder that thing. Okay. Yeah, this is some of my favorite counter spell art, actually. So I agree with that. This idiot again? Oh my god, I'm so tired of this stupid true name nemesis. I don't think anyone prefers the mustard hands counter spell. I think they just think it's funnier. And I'll agree with that. But Nico Bolas one time. It's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Vraska. Make a duder. So Vraska's going to take three. She's going to go to five. Then she goes to seven. Then she goes to four. Then she goes to six. Then she goes to three. Then she goes to five. Then she goes to... We get a, we get a lot of activations. I'll play a bad sugar light on your Veraska the Birdy Burk. Alright, that's fine. Mustard Fingers is the ones with the uh it's from like Alpha Beta Unlimited. Where he's like holding up his fingers and it's like it looks like looks like mustard coming out of his fingers. You got it. Ooh. It's your boy. Leovaldo. Oh, it does look like mustard coming. <laughs> we figured it out. We figured it out. I don't actually like the Mercadian masks art just because it looks like it looks like a merfolk, I think. Uh let me check. Yeah, it looks I don't know. I don't like her garb. Her garb. Who talks like that? I don't like your garb, lady. Yep. There's always one broken card in these piles. Oh, for crying out loud. This is this is much worse. Banishing light. Actually, not the worst. Elspeth is probably the most oppressive card here, but... Um... All of these are great. Declaration of Stone gets rid of these. Banishing Light gets rid of this or this. Elspeth gets rid of... I think you just take these and then you can get rid of the all the tokens. Yeah, I think it's still I think it's still piled like this. We don't have a real 
What did they take? Yep. Yeah, they took the deck and stone. Seems fine. Not great, but fine. Actually, we can push the guy they target with the deck and stone, which is pretty nice. And we still get to draw a card from the Leobold. Banishing light. Do you target Leobold with this? Or do you target Frasca? Let me draw that card, boy. Yes. Oh, let's let's be bells and locking. Bells and locking and loading, as they say. I'm actually going to probably kill the Matic Vandal and attack for infinite and play Bells and Lock this turn. But they do have... They're probably going to deck and stone this guy, right? Maybe? I don't know. I don't think I care about the Matic Vandal, I'll be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. It's actually not terrible. Movies Navidad. Prospero, blue, 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 doo, blue, doo. Blue, doo, doo, doo. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm just assuming you don't have an answer. Okay, good. So we got rid of Manic Vandal and we got rid of a. Interesting. This game looks great. We could turn Banishing Lane into a forest. I've actually considered that before, and then I'm like, wait, but that doesn't actually get our guy back. Magic is complicated. Uh, no blocks, for obvious reasons. It is always Christmas music. I don't even know why. It's super weird, man. It's got to be some psychological thing. I got to be some. I got to. I got to need psychiatric help in some in some way. It's probably a cry for help of some sort. Oh, we're definitely tutoring for Nikki B here. That's for sure. Well, this is unfortunate, but I think that's okay. It's not great. We have seven mana though, so I don't want to tutor for Nikki B. I want to tutor for something that actually has an impact on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Scarab God seems pretty good. We could actually go Joyra into Jace Friend's Prodigy, which actually seems surprisingly good. Or we can go Fraley's and kill the Banishing Light. Actually, I like that a lot. Let's do that. Our deck actually has a ton of answers. So now they have deck and stone and three other cards. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Still in my head now. Our deck is sick. I don't think it's the most powerful deck, but I think it's always doing stuff. Like, we have a lot of things that are happening at any given time. So we know that Deck and Stone is one of their cards. And if they kill the Jace, we get to draw a card, which I'm totally fine with. What are you voting for? Gotta be Vraska, right? Deal. So, deck and stone in two cards now. That's pretty good. Kill Fraley's and Jace. All right, well, everything's coming up Millhouse for them. Yep, this is, this is a very good turn, and you still have a deck and stone. All right. It's that moment where your opponent is able to kill all your planeswalkers. 
cast down one time. Boop him. I actually was like, I was thinking that Cast Down was one of the few cards we could hit, but we also have both Moxes in the deck still. So we actually... Uh, no, there. I had no way to know that Cast Down was there. Um, Yeah, that's fine. Deck and Stone on a token, you have one card left. Sure. Frank, are you an actual X-Man? I cannot confirm nor deny uh, my mutant gene. I'm sorry. Feliz Navidad. Moxes are pretty bad sit there, but I'm not going to... Also, Moxes help me cast Nicol Bolas when I draw him. So, I mean, not terrible, but also, like, what else am I going to do? I don't understand the the question. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying Cast Down is great. Agreed. Yeah, out of all the cards we could have drawn, like, I think Cast Down was definitely the one we wanted to hit. Which is why I said Cast Down one time. But. I know Kung Fu. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, let's do that. This is an Ancestral Recall where you just get the best card. Uh, I found the best card. Actually, it might just be Xenagos here. It's not, though. It's always Nicol Bolas. So, I'm actually tempted to not attack because if they have any removal spell, uh, we get to, we lose a land here, and that prevents us from playing Nicol Bolas next turn. So, ten dollar donation if your opponent plays Moat and you song it, please play a Moat. Play it right now. <laughs> I would laugh so hard, dude. It's not impossible. All right, they have two cards. Let's see what happens here. We're going to play this because in case they have the stupid mana tithe for Spike. This is greedy. I mean, I think Xenagos was the correct play because you put a 2-2 body on the board. Um, and you get to... You know... Uh, attack for 4, so that puts them down to 5. Plus we have man lands in play and then put another 2-2 next turn. I'm gonna just do the hundred bits. I know kung fu, but I know kung fu. It's funny because Lawrence Fishburne and uh, what's his name, Keanu Reeves, were in both the Matrix together and they were in John Wick together. John Wick Two, anyway. Twenty bucks did they have mana tide and force spike? Do they have to have both or just one? Because I'll throw some stuff into force spike, buddy. Don't you tempt me. Don't you threaten me with a good time. I think our deck's fine. Everything felt useful. I like that we actually don't have a ton of creatures, so I really don't even feel bad about throwing out the, uh, you know, the all the making a bunch of tokens, because if they Day of Judgment, I'm like, all right, well, I made all these guys for free anyway. So you just subscribe to just donate through the link, right? Yeah, definitely. Why do I have Felice Navidad of all, of all Christmas songs stuck in my head? Should we switch to Melakaliki Maka? We shouldn't, th realistically, we shouldn't switch to anything. That's the, that's the correct answer. No, Frank, we shouldn't have any any songs is this a 
Oh, these lands that come into play tap. This hand is still great. I'm still going to keep it, but if we can get any untapped land, it's a turn to Leovold, which is pretty disgusting. Buy you. Nickel Bolas. Not close. Shardless agent, huh? I can shardless. Um, we have we have cast down in hand, so we can hit Mox and we can hit Mox Ruby. Um, Fatal push would be rough. Vampiric Tutor would be pretty okay. I think we just want the the guy out here. I will cast that, and I'll actually just get a mana. A, a mana? Do we want a mana, or do we want something we can play next turn? That seems okay. So we're going to have three mana next turn. I think we just want, like, Bayou for the black-green. Actually, Blooming Marsh is probably better here, because we can just play Blooming Marsh in the Leovold next turn. So the options... Everflowing Chalice is also a terrible hit. So we have Everflowing Chalice, Fatal Push, Mox Ruby, Oath of Nyssa... And Sylvan carry added. So only... And go for the throat. So 50-50. Fifty, 50, 50. And Jace's Vrin's Prodigy. Okay, so there was a bunch of hits, actually. There was way more hits than I thought there were. Um, we're going to have three land next turn. We can get we can get a fourth. I don't think I care about the fourth, though. Because we're going to have a fourth anyway. So what do we... We just play something. We get something to play on turn four. We can play a Leovold. No, we can't play a Leovold next turn. Dang it. I think we just get the... The, the Blooming Marsh. And then we can play pretty much anything we want because we have double black, double green. Someone on Ucha, feel free to uh feel free to post it in the in the in the comments, definitely. Or in the in the chat rather. Alright. This is fine. Leovold's very good because if they try to kill it, we get to draw a card. And that's all I really want. Wow. Look at him. Well, cast down is dead for multiple reasons. Hope they don't put in on Sarah's wings on this guy, am I right? <laughs> uh, I don't like Xenagos there because we actually only have three mana sources. So we'd have to play Lava Claw Reaches, do nothing, and then play Xenagos after that. Whereas right now, any four drop is live, except for Jace. And then we can just play Lava Claw and we're in good shape there. What are you copying here? Leovold? Oh, that's pretty good. That's strong. Cast down looking pretty sad right now. More like, that was a great draw. More like sad down. <laughs> it's terrible. Actually terrible. Do do do, making dudes pass and turn. Hope they don't do anything here because then we can Xenagos the Reveler, which would be pretty sweet. And then we can add three mana and eight mana, and we can play a Nicobolus. But I assume they're gonna do something because they have a lot of cards, and they're probably just gonna get rid of Xenagos because it's a good card. But then we get to draw a card because that's pretty sweet. Yes. Oh, well, I like a Joyra. What if we draw Joyra Mox Ruby? That'd be pretty sweet, right? Give me that Mox Ruby. Hmm. They have three cards. We have a million cards. <laughs> I love this song. It's a good song. I really, I felt like, I felt like it went on for a little too long, but you know, that's life. Life is a song that goes on for a little too long. And that also rhymed. So, you know, that's cool. I'm tempted to just kill this. But I think we can I think we can play her first and then cast it. I just want to say you became one of my favorite players when you played Omnidor Thrag Fire back in Innistrad. That was a good time, dude. Wally won. Thank you so much for saying so, man. Appreciate it. 
Preach. Oh, their Leovold does cancel our Joyra. That's a good point. I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. Oh, and it's an artifact. Good lord, our removal's all terrible right now. Dang it. No cards drawn, sir. Ugh. Kill you. Draw your stupid card. Yeah, Leovold being an artifact creature, you can't ultimate price it. You can't go for the throat it, and you can't cast it down. That's actually so bad. My god, hoisted by my own Leovold petard. I definitely don't think Leovold is safe for modern. I think Leovold is very, very strong. I would love to play Leovold in modern. But that's not for any kind of altruistic reason. It's because Leovold is fantastic. Oh, he gets Vampiric Tutor. That's pretty good. I respect that. If we can if we can draw a land here, we can go Vraska's Contempt or Vraska into draw a card into uh Well nothing else. I guess activating Vraska would be what we do. It's because Leovold is fantastic. Hey guys, why don't you think Leovold's good in modern? Because Leovold is fantastic. Okay, well, that's a good reason. One, two, green, black, the most painful of truths. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I kind of just want to kill this, but maybe not. I don't know what they're going to do here is the point. Have you tried drafting opposition in this cube? Not yet. Um, opposition is interesting in this cube because I feel like going going like wide with creatures is not super uh, effective because for one there's not as many creature sources as there is in like the legacy cube or like the uh, the modern cube. It's not impossible by any means, but I'm really concerned they just grabbed a Wrath of God there. I have no idea what they grabbed is really the problem, so I don't really want to waste any spells on uh, on them. I will attack with Joyra because you can either you can double block Joyra and I'll I'll be fine trading with either of these. Oh, good opposition decks are definitely scary. Oh, I just get to trade with this guy. That's interesting. Okay, so they're probably wrathing the board here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which means we get to play Vraska and kill the Banishing Light. If they attack, it's one hundred percent wrath time. Yep, it's wrath. It's wrath time, baby. It's all making sense now. Sure. Uh, I do not think Blackface should be. Re I don't think it needs to be. Is really the thing. And the wrath of God. You got it. All right, fingers crossed this Vraska resolves, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, gross. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
I'm not going to attack because if they get any red source, they can actually act wandering fumarole. Hey, that's pretty good. You got it. Three Unoons. I mean, we have Creeping Tar Pit, which I'm pretty okay with having. We also have a Jace. <laughs> it's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If they didn't have a Counterspell last turn, what is the what are the odds they have one this turn? Make a Menace, dude. Add X mana. Red, red. Three, four, six, seven, eight. The Bolus de Nichols. Kill that thing. Used you, used you. And I'm okay with everything that's happening right now. And we'll just pass the train. I don't think there's actually a card in this cube that could destroy all of our Planeswalkers. I think we're actually pretty safe here, but... Yeah, that's totally fine. <laughs> that is a uh, pretty mediocre card when we have Nickel Walsh on board, unfortunately. Dr. Funkenstein, Doc, Dr. Funkburger, MD, this is a, uh, this is a, this is a great step so far. Even if we, even if we don't win the draft, even if we don't even two, even if we don't even two one, uh, I think this match is good enough for, for maximum funsies. I feel like it's just Oath of Nyssa here. Into, you know, whatever. Oh, I guess we'll hit a land here. Uh, we'll take a breeding pool. Kill this thing. Make a 2-2. Two -two. I mean, Treachery's in the cube, Control Magic's in the cube. I don't know if they can take Nicol Bolas with anything. I don't think so. I'm going to name my firstborn Max Funzies. You should try to draft Opposition next draft. My, uh, Ghost, thank you so much for this. Uh, Erthador, uh, step draft, choose whichever of these two you prefer. You have to draft all the lands with re within reason. Or two, choose otter even. All the spells in your deck have to be that quality. Also, really awesome. Thank you so much. That I like either of those. We'll have to we'll have to talk about which one uh, which one we're gonna do though, because those are both pretty interesting. I like Jace plus Jace that it just shuts off these soldier tokens. Now I don't care about the soldier tokens as much. Pretty sure we just want a Bells Unlock, but what if we actually get unlucky and hit every single one, two, three, four, five, six? I think we can just Jace here. Oh, actually, I don't have to crack the treasure anymore. Never mind. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He just keeps playing them. Let's make sure we've used everything. One, two, three, four. All right, cool. Nope. We are good to go. Your turn. I think we won the game. I'm not sure. I think we won we won the game. I didn't want to I didn't want to I don't want to be presumptuous. We we won the game though, guys. We did it. We did it. This is called running up the score. I mean, it is, but it also isn't because we didn't win the game. Like, I, that is a that is a very fine. Uh... That's a very very fine. He's already dead. Moment. Did he say good? Did they say good games? Oh, I'll, I'll never know.
Like, as far as I know, there's no confiscate effect in the cube where they can take your planeswalker. There's no... Zealous conscripts, I guess. If they were if they were splashing with, like, Zealous conscripts, that would be scary. But... This is a pretty okay. I'm gonna actually let me copy this this Earth Erdoth, Erdoth, stip. So we can make sure to get that one down. Alright, let's see what happens. I will play first. Um, I like this hand just so we can painful trues. We have a removal spell. It has all of our colors. We have double blue. We have a red source. We don't have double black yet, but we do have double green, so. We can do a lot of things with this hand. And if we draw Mox, we just get to go turn two Painful Truths. That's pretty sick. Even turn three Painful Truths is pretty good. No, I'm not, I mean, I know there's cards that... What are you, what are you saying, Zaichi? What are you saying right now? What about Hero's Downfall? That's not going to work. I'm talking about stealing a planeswalker, not not removing it. And they also they weren't black; they were they were red, white, and and blue. That's pretty cool. Yeah, of course. But there's a ton of cards that kill planeswalkers in the queue. That's not what I'm worried about. I was worried about them stealing our Nicobolus and ultimating on Nicobolus. Um, let's play this. Could have also killed this guy, but... Oof. Oof. What is the play here, ladies and gentlemen? Alright, they have Caracas, so I don't think it's Scarab God. One, two, three, four. It could just be Nickel... It could just be Xenagos. We play Xenagos next turn, and then we can play Vraska the turn after that. I don't like these going to the bottom, but I think we have we have ways to shuffle, so I'm not too concerned. I think it is Xenagos. Nicobolus is a little too big. There are no creatures for Scarab God either, so I'm not thrilled about that. More like Oof of Nissa is right. Yeah, we're definitely killing that when we get the chance. <laughs> That is a little frightening. I think we're just killing this guy with the Fatal Push. I mean, on the right side, we can play Vraska and kill whatever they play next turn. As long as it's not a Planeswalker. But we, if it's a Planeswalker, we still have two satyrs that can attack, so. And we also have Song of the Dryads. Our hand is actually pretty stacked, so I'm okay with it. Oh, the set. Actually, it's so good when they do that and then we just play Vraska the next turn. Oh my god, it's just really strong. Oh god, Mana Tide incoming. You guys ready? Oh, we did it. Ooh. <laughs> All right, game ends. Seems good. I think we're bringing in Wear Tear because we saw at least, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? We can actually cast the tear half off of Sylvan Carry at it if we need to, and we already saw Thran Dynamo, which is pretty good. I'll just bring in Wear Tear and call it a day. This deck is sweet, dude.
Every time they banishing light, um, oh, this hand is great. Turn two shardless agent, keep. Or turn one Jace. Like, no, we can't turn one Jace because of Creeping Tar Pit, but it's still very good. Um, yeah, every time they go Banishing Light or Oblivion Ring, our Planeswalker, and then we play Vraska the next turn to get our Planeswalker back. Boy. Nothing like it. I really want to Fatal Push this guy. <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it. Um, on the bright side, because they have a creature now, cards like Cast Out and Go for the Throat are better hits off of Shardless Agent. And if they play an Artifact, now we get to Wear Tear as well. All right, so... I think our Charlotte's agent is pretty live. And Everflowing Chalice is a great draw as well because that is also going to not be a hit. So I think we're actually good. Yeah, that's fine. That is just fine. The more ramp, the merrier. That's what I always say. He never says that. That's so weird. I think the Chicken Lord over Chicken Sunday is disappointing you. We're not running any chickens in your Super Friends deck and the deck before it. Listen, buddy. Every day is Chicken Sunday. You can't just be, you can't just be all about Chicken Sunday every day. They understand, you know. I think we cast a multi kicker here, right? We can also play Jace. They have Krakus again, so Scarab God's getting real sad. They also have this. Yeah, we're just going to double kick here. They have two cards in hand. All right. Mm, good deal. I also like Fatal Push on this Stirring Wildwood if that guy ever comes. One, two, three, four, five. They have seven mana. They could, they could Karn here, but... You know, they're not going to. They're just going to attack us for three. That says a lot about what you might have when you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have seven mana and you chose to attack with Stirring Wildwood. That's pretty okay. We have seven mana. One, two, three, four, five. Frailies. I think we just make a guy here. I don't think I care about your Simic Signet. We could play Jace, but I'm going to keep my Veil push up, especially because they have Stirring Wildwood, and they've shown that they were willing to attack with it. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Yes, now push the Wildwood. That is the, yes, that is the plan. Music Manly, always with the, always with the hits. Put that dude in the trash can. Doodly doot doot trash can man. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about this lady? All right, that's the end of that game as well. We had a good time. Would have drawn Leovold into Cast Down, into Swamp, into Nicol Bolas, which we could have definitely cast at that point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. I don't know. Who knows, man? This game, this deck is fantastic. I remember that when I was like, I don't even know if we're going to go 1 2. And we're like 4 0 right now. 4 0 0 0 0 with all the zeros in the world. I mean, I don't know how fair our deck is. We have two moxes in our deck. That seems like a good card, right? I think Sultai is overtly the best way to draft. I don't even think it's a secret. Sunday, chicken Sunday. All right, go. Secret Alien, four months in a row. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, that is. Not welcome. Not two welcomes. I'll give you one welcome and one back. 
Well, the Sultai Brood, the, the Brood is, it's, that's what they're called. They're called the Sultai Brood, as, as per cons of Tarkir lore. We can pop up the old, the old Sultai Wikipedia page. Yeah, they're actually called, the, the, the page is actually called the Sultai Brood. Look at that. The Sultai Brood is a decadent and merciless clan which lurks in ancient palaces in the steaming jungles of Tarkir. After striking a deal with the demon Rakshasa, they employ necromancy to fuel their schemes of dominating of the other clans. The clan rules from Karu Temple deep in the jungles. Shu Yun regarded them as the protectors of the other clans from the horrors that lurked in the jungles and swamplands. That's pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to keep this hand. If we draw a mox here, it's uh, turn one Jace, which is pretty okay. Any mox, 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 mox. It's not a mox. Come on. Hey, come on. What is the teamer one? Teamer is the teamer front. The teamer frontier, I think. Yeah, it's a teamer frontier. That's what they're called. Just start typing all that out in your chat, your opponent. He look at, hey, buddy. What you know about the Sultai clan, buddy? Listen, don't look at, look at me. Don't look over there. Look at me. I'm talking about the Sultai clan, okay? How many blue-white decks do we end up playing against? Like a million? Oh, that guy just that guy just ran out there. He was like, "Oh, I'm illegal." Any black source, we get the painful trees or Leovold, both of which are pretty strong. That's a black source, ladies and gentlemen. You counter this guy? No, that guy resolves too. Ooh. <laughs> that's just fine my friend I'm going to discard this Blooming Marsh we don't need this right now I have so many answers for this I don't even I don't even much care brah I don't want to play Joyer because this looks like a, this reminds me of a Wrath of God deck so $10 stipulation in play that is true that is true. I don't know if that was still valid, but they did mode us. What do you give me? Hmm. Choosing pile one there for sure. Like, Oath of Nyssa is just any Planeswalker better than Garrick. So, I'm okay with that. Um, that's obnoxious, but we have Jace, and they can't attack anyway, so I guess they can attack if, if, uh, whatever. We'll figure it out. Well, dang it. Let's... You got outmoded. <laughs> Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it, buddy. That is good times. Um, is it Charles' agent? What are we, what's our plan here? We probably just want painful truths here. I am worried about this Elspeth, but... I don't know if I'm worried about it that much. I think we just want to play Joyra here. I think we want to continue hitting land drops too, to be honest. We have one land. I think I, I, we want to keep hitting land drops. We also want double black sources in case we draw like Bells and Lock or some nonsense. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> we're definitely putting on an Elspeth, I believe.
They have three cards in hand. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Please zero with Jace. Oh, this could be very good if they forget what what, what Leovold does. <gasps> oh, my goodness. They just... Oh, my God. They have to put two cards from their hand back on their library. Oh, my God. <laughs> Leovold into put your hand on your library, dude. That was such a gas. Wow. Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious. Upon <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. These guys can't attack. We're not too concerned with them. Actually, we have three forests, so next turn we can actually play Nissa. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty great. Or no, we can play Nissa and then then into Nicol Bolas and just kill their Jace or their moat. Or, you know, anything else that we feel like. Um so let's go island. One, two, three, four, five. Play Nissa. Tap you. One, two, three. Okay, black, blue, painful truths. So we play land, which we did. Also, Fraley's takes care of moat. It also, uh... yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah, we'll just plus Jace. We'll make them deal with Jace. Um, four, five, six. I guess we just suspend this. I don't really care. I'm not going to cast it at any point in time. And we can actually flip Jace and also find another win condition. So multiple Jace is on board. Everything's active. All right. We'll see what happens here. This deck is sweet. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> they they Jace and had to put the... Oh, man, they had to put all the cards in their hand back on top and didn't draw anything. Leovold, dude. Leo freaking Vold. Oh, and we get to draw from this? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, my God, the value. The Leovold value is so real, dude. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Long time no speak. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually play forest here. Blue, black, black, green. One, two, three, four. Plus this Jace. Uh, so what do we need? We got four, five, six, seven, eight. Nickel bolus. We have mana leak up. Yep, that's pretty good. Destroy the Jace. Make this guy small. Play Leovold. Are we doing good right now? I can't tell. Oh my god, I love that clip. This... <laughs> Xena Suspects, thank you so much for that clip. That is awesome. That is a fantastic clip. Also, Restoration, An Restoration Angel only deals two mana here. Oh, boy. We have Leovold. They draw no cards. What? <laughs> That's fantastic. Time Twister with Leovold on board. I am game. Okay, that'll do. What? I can't tell if they forgot about that. That's fantastic. Why, man, why? <laughs> Good times, dude. Whoo, this is a strong card. This is a very strong card. I don't know if you guys knew about it. What you guys know about Leovold? Wow. I don't know if that was intentional. Sometimes you just get super excited because you have uh, your opponent. I mean, they might have also thought that, like, hey, we bounced it. They might have not realized. They might have forgot that we replayed it. 
Um, there's a lot of possible reasons why you would do that because you you just sometimes you forget things in uh, in games of magic. But yeah, they let me draw seven and then they drew none. Oh my god, please. This card is insane, dude. God, what a what a busted situation that is. Um We didn't see that many artifacts. David Gucky, thank you so much for the the Patreon patronage. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. I'm not sure if you're watching now, but if you are, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate the support. Oh god. Leovold, dude. Oh, Leovold's 1,000% the, the thumbnail for this video. Music Manly, the Sultai Brood is the <laughs> chat led by Frank with a Mike B at his side. They rule the lands, spreading Chicken Sunday among the people. Frank and his noble steed hunter battle the hordes of opponents on MTGO. Hail the real Sultai Brood. Uh, this hand seems fine. It's not as aggressive. The last hand was fantastic, but... I mean, I still like any hand with Mox in all of our colors, and uh, I think it's I think it's Moxin, but it's not a real word, so it's not super. Um, Ghost of the Sun, thank you so much for Patreon support too. Thank you so much. You guys have access to uh, uh, everything on my Patreon feed, including I do Frank's thoughts every every week, once a week. It's like a fifteen to twenty minute podcast where I talk about all the magic stuff that's going on. Um, that one's at the three dollar tier, so anybody who puts it's three dollars a month. Uh, not, not per, not per episode or anything like that. So, you know, three dollars whole month gets you everything on my Patreon feed for the most part. Ghost of the Sun, thanks so much. Really appreciate it, both of you guys. That was great. You guys are awesome. Tangle wire. Well, I'll be a sea biscuit. Well, I guess we're tapping all our things down. I'll choose these two. Scrabble God. Okay. Well, I'm not going to pay for this to be untapped, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, Mox is a real word. It means it's it means uh it's Latin for for soon. Well, that's interesting. Um, but it doesn't mean jewelry, right? It doesn't mean the thing that it is in the game. It's just a it's a it's 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 re it's repurposed. You know what I mean? Guys, remember when our opponent used, uh, uh, what do we got? Three? One, two, three. When our, when our opponent used Time Twister and we had, uh, had old Leovold in play. Those were good times. We're all having a good time. Twister with Leovold in play or casting Tango are They're both pretty bad. I mean, the, the beauty of this Tango R is that we actually haven't had anything to do in these first few turns anyway. So, like, it's not actually really hurting us that much. We also have four mana next turn. So, if we draw any four mana card, we just get to play it. So, we can tap the blue down because we don't need it. Because we have infinite islands in hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. Actually, I don't even think we want to cast this guy just because, like... Next time we're going to tap one down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I don't like Charlotte's Agent here because we have so many things that we can hit. Like Fatal Push, Cast Down, and Go for the Throat here. And I think it's just better to uh, to wait until we have a target so we're not just wasting our guy. The 2-2 two -two body is totally irrelevant here. So, Admirable, this is Cube. This is the most cube you've ever seen. Oh, look. A mox has appeared. Here comes a Lyra. Okay. Actually, that's better because now we can hit cast down. Cast down is an option for that. Um... Choose one. We'll choose this guy. So I can literally just go this and this. Play Vraska. Kill your Archangel. 
Okay. That seems good. <laughs> seems powerful play. Magic's a strong game. Now we can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, if we draw a land, we can Scarab God and then keep up Archangel of Thune mana. Well, that's not where you want to be on turn 7. Sure. Tote's fine. That was a 2 for 1. We got rid of Archangel of Thune, Lightning Helix, and we still got a treasure out of it, so I'm pretty okay with that. I will tap none. Fatal Pushu. Um... We just want a Demon Lord Bells Unlock. We're probably going to hit a land if we do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if we... Actually, if we hit a land, we can Scarab God next turn, which is pretty cool. And get back Demon Lord Bells Unlock. We didn't hit a land. That's sad. Sad for everybody. Everybody's upset. Oh, it's not a land, isn't it? Okay, you're right. That's my bad. They have five cards in hand. Four cards. Our, our hand is just stacked. Frosty... Frosty the Titan was a very frosty boy. Do you guys remember my the Frosty the Titan song? So one, two, three, four, and then we have we can actually play yeah, this is actually pretty good. Kill you. Yes, yes, um. One, two, three, four. Garums. Mega Beastums. All right, go ahead. Oh man, these clips are great. Thank you guys. And you got the you got the Time Twister Leovold. That was gas. Oh god, I want them to brainstorm with Leovold out now. Is that our goal? <laughs> Is that our dream? Strip mine the creeping tar pit. All right. Solemn Smilacrum. So we have two cards in hand and a Lotus Bloom suspended. Okay. Deal. I wonder if they're playing Lotus Bloom because it's actually good in their deck or because it's just a sad man's Black Lotus. One, two, three, four, four. Now we only have six mana. Our mana situation is decreasing. Decreasing? Is that the word we're looking for? Um, I like Fraley's to do something. What does she do? Not not much. I mean, I guess she always does something, right? We can actually kill this guy, flip Garrick, play Fraley's, make a guy. Let's do that. Yep, use this, use this, doesn't matter. Any colors, make a guy, do a thing. One, two, three. We're, they're going to have this next turn, so I'm not really concerned about... I'm not really concerned about blowing up Mox when next time they have Lotus Bloom. Like, we're not going to be able to keep them off of any... Any reliable amount of mana, unfortunately. So. We get to attack for eight here. actually fine I mean whenever they Wrath of God and we have two Planeswalkers in play I'm always like okay that's a that's a forest I think does that look like a forest to you guys kind of looks like a forest uh Nahiri you can have Nahiri oh the, the double mox deck wow that's pretty good Nahiri alright One, two, three, four, five, six. He has mode, it's not a forest? What do you mean? I don't really care about mode. I have Fraley's on board. What does that mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can play Shardless Agent. 
Uh, we're not gonna hit go for the throat, fatal push, or cast down because they're in our hand. So let's see what happens here. Sylvan carry added or mocks would be nice because they give us enough mana to. Yeah, it's actually also good. That was a great hit. Uh, wolf. So Nahiri comes down. Create a druido. And we'll play a song. I guess they can kill it. They have Nahiri, right? So they could actually Nahiri kill that, but I think that's fine. Because they can do that anyway. And then we can just attack Nahiri and kill Nahiri because they're spending four mana to do it, so... Whatever. That's fine. Well, yeah, but if Nahiri kills it, she goes to two. So we get rid of both. Like, I'm not really too concerned with that. Whereas if we let them resolve Nahiri, then they just get to use one of the cards in their hand to... Uh... Oh, they cast a uh, Weratair targeting Charlotte's Agent and Song of the Dryads. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Jace shrinks my dudes. Not if... Yeah, but not if it's a... F oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm not really concerned about it with my hand. Like, I think our hand is great. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We actually get to go Vampiric Tutor EOT into, uh, into Nicol Bolas. Clarinessa, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm a big fan of EOT Vampiric Tutor into Nicol Bolas and then destroying, just 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 utterly destroying their Planeswalkers. Ah, uh, Claire Nissa, okay. Uh, the, the capitalization is definitely relevant. Thank you for the sub, really appreciate it. Uh, not even gonna, not even gonna pretend we're not windmill slamming Nicol Bolas here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And destroy a non-creature permanent. Do we care which one? Does it matter? Kill the Jace. Oh, uh, I don't know if we're going to do Opposition Draft next. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I also have another draft. I, I have another stipulation that someone paid for in the queue, so we'd probably do that first. Um, we can draw a creature for each green creature we control. So we can draw, what, one whole dude. Um, we could Painful Truths here. That's pretty cool. Dag Attack, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Ghost of the Sun. Uh, oh, Ghost of the Sun, thank you, for your, thank you for the bits, man. Really appreciate it. Um, it is on the list, actually. I'll just put it on the list. As soon as I can get Evernote to work again. Anyway, we'll figure it out. It will be... It'll be on the list. Ghost of the Sun. Also, the problem with doing opposition as a stip is that, like, you might not get opposition, right? Um, can we cast Xenagos here? We got one... Two. The answer is no. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. There's a lot of things happening here. I guess we can Jace. Scarab God's very good. I'm probably just going to take this guy and put him in the trash. Um, create a dude. We got two blue sources. Just get rid of this. And Jace is still in effect, so that's not going to do anything. But, yeah, it's a delayed trigger. It doesn't actually do anything. Used you, used you, used you. Okay. Um, I think we're good. We're just going to pass here. Yeah, we're 2-0 and up a game right now. So... 
Our deck is actually pretty bonkers. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to have Nicol Bolas on board. Every one of these cards is basically just a... That's better. I love. I think. I think a very common play is people activating Jace and then just conceding with the ability on the stack because they realize there's nothing in the three cards that are going to help them out of whatever situation they're in. So it's weird when MTGO bots is like, hey, he's not in any tournaments right now. And I'm like, but I am. But I am in a tournament right now. Why are you lying? You get rid of Oath of Nyssa. <laughs> Uh-oh. Desperation there. I think. I don't know if there's a card in this format that actually gets rid of a bunch of Planeswalkers at once. Wrath of God doesn't do it. I mean, I have Lava Claw Reachers to kill the other Planeswalker, so... We're definitely going to Nicol Bolas one and then kill the other with Lava Claw Reaches. And I assume they don't have Lightning Bolt. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna be bold there and assume that there's no Lightning Bolt. Let's actually attack first to see if it gets through. Jace and pump you once like you do and Jace is dead destroy a non-creature permanent get rid of you um, make a guy make a guy one two three four Xenagos. I guess we could have Xenagos and made a guy. There's a lot of things going on here. I'm trying to navigate this efficiently. Uh, does somebody damage target player or Planeswalker? That player or Planeswalker control stack discards. Like, even if they actually stole Nicobolus and ultimate it, like, I think that'd be fine. I have a Freilies. That doesn't do anything. Oh, boy. This is just rough. I am not disappointed with the Elder Dragons at all. I think Nicobolus is great. Chromium is great. They look sweet. Lackluster. Oh my god, you guys are you guys have been spoiled. Oh, uh, we can't ultimate it yet because they just play. Oh, actually, we can. We can just go Fraley's ultimate and they sack a million permanents. Yeah, that's pretty good. That almost feels like a win. Uh, destroy an artifact. Kill this. God, Fraley's are so good. I mean, I, I have no idea why Fraley's goes as late as it does. It's consistently amazing for me. You discard seven cards, sack seven permanents. Seems good. And we can actually ultimate Garrick here. We can make a Seder and ultimate Garrick, and I think we're going to just win the game right now. We get to draw one card. Seder. Seder, I barely know her. Destroy an artifact? Yeah, sure. Boom! You write good games. Got him. Wow, this deck was insane. What was that, 6-0? Unbeatable? That deck was crazy. Either way, not going anywhere, Twitch viewers, but thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you guys have not done so. Check me out on Patreon or Twitch. Both of those are in the description below. Hope you had a great time. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it.